We're at CES where there are a ton of personal companion robots. We're going to show you a good one, a bad one, and an ugly one. A personal companion robot is a robot that's also your friend, or you might think of it like a robotic butler. It can help you do things around the house, it can get you a cup of coffee, it can call your mom. Uh, and several companies actually have devices that are going to go on sale this year, so you could have one in your house. The good personal companion robot we saw is called Walker by UV Tech. The idea is that uh, you'd have Walker as a companion in your home and uh, you could talk to Walker, it's all voice controlled, and ask Walker to do things like get you a can of Coke uh, or turn off the lights or just keep you company if that's what your life is. The suspense is really palpable. I'm actually starting to get really hungry too, waiting on the chips. UbiTech actually wants to put these in people's homes. They're going to sell them. They're going to be expensive in the beginning, um, but I believe that the future of having robots in our house that can help us do things is pretty close. These can also go in nursing homes or in the service industry. You might have a robotic waiter serving you in the next couple of years, who knows? But Walker's real tech, it works, and it's coming to market. UbiTech didn't say how expensive it would be, but they did say it would be expensive, like the price of a cheaper car. The bad robot we saw is called Temi, and it looks less like a robot in the traditional sense and more like a roving podium with a tablet on top. Temi will follow you around your house, it can play music and movies, and it has a little platform where you can put a drink and you can steer with your phone, but I don't really understand what it's really useful for. The upside to Temi is that Temi's going on sale as well. You can buy it this year. It'll be $1,500, which is basically the price of an iPhone for a robot that will follow you around your house if that's the kind of thing you're into. The ugly personal companion robot we saw is called LEQ. LEQ kind of looks like a lamp that lights up and talks to you. It's actually designed for the elderly uh, to be a companion in their home if they live alone. It's uh, something they can talk to and uh, that can help them out with their daily life. Ellie's also going on sale this year. The price hasn't been disclosed yet, um, but I don't think it's for everyone. It's Again, it's it's really targeted towards the elderly and I don't see the use for most people. Perhaps the most exciting thing about personal companion robots is the possibilities are endless and the gadgets are here. Uh, we don't really know what to do with them yet, but five years ago, if you told someone they'd be talking to a speaker in their kitchen, they'd probably think you were crazy.